the social credit score system. If you go to China, they're piloting it uh, a few years ago in Shenzhen. So I lived overseas. If you go to Shenzhen, back in 2017, they already had facial recognition cameras there. So if you jaywalked in Shenzhen, they would immediately detect that and send you a notification and they would deduct money from your what they call WeChat account. They, they use two main apps, WeChat and Alipay. So you can actually deduct your money directly from your account. This is four years ago, so this is not like some sort of conspiracy theory. It's not something that's going to happen 10 years into the future. This happened pre-corona in China. And so this system in China that exists, it's extremely advanced. They can detect if it's a man or a woman. They can detect, they can guess your age. They can detect what kind of car model it is, who the manufacturer is. This is a sort of technology that we see in all these dystopian sort of films and whatever. And people keep putting it off and thinking that this is something that's going to happen later in my kid's lifetime or my grandkids. It's already here. And if this gets implemented anywhere, especially in a Western nation, it's not going away. And they're going to ask if you're gay. They're going to be asking if you ate three pizzas this week because it's unhealthy. If you buy certain books in certain countries, your country doesn't like you. You will lose points in the social credit score system. So this is already the reality of the world in certain places and we need to be aware of that if we don't want that or if we do.